Hi, my name is Kaylin Womack and I'm a staff writer at The Root. This weekend, I'm taking you to Tuskegee, Alabama to explore the story of a horrid medical experiment on this episode of Small Town Horrors. In 1932, 600 black men were enrolled in a study by doctors from the US Public Health Service who were looking for a cure for syphilis, a contagious venereal disease that ran rapid in the black community. The people who participated were mainly sharecroppers and most haven't been to a doctor before. However, they were misled into believing they'd receive free medical care in exchange for handing over their bodies for science and were also told they were just being treated for bad blood. Of the group, 399 men had latent syphilis and the control group of 201 did not have the disease. For the duration of the study, none of the men with syphilis were given any medication or care for their illness. Even when penicillin was approved as a form of treatment in 1947, the researchers did not offer it to the participants. The doctors simply watched the progression of the disease take over, causing the men to die, go blind, lose their minds, or undergo other long-term health issues. By the 1960s, a PHS investigator named Peter Buxton learned of the study and suggested a committee be formed to review the autopsies and the study's findings. Buxton found that 28 people died from the disease, 100 died from complications related to the disease, 40 spouses had been infected with it, and 19 children inherited the disease from birth. Buxton leaked his findings to the Associated Press in July of 1972, and four months later, the 40-year experiment came to a close. A lawsuit representing the families affected by the study ended in a $9 million settlement and free medical services from the government as promised when they first signed up. President Clinton gave an apology to the surviving participants and families of the deceased in 1996. Tune in next weekend to see what small town horror we visit next at theroot.com.